It's a bull. Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzma with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in lovely Lauderdale by the Sea. If you're local here, uh, 77 degrees, not that hot. We don't have our uh, 90 degree 5 a.m. mornings already, so <laughs> we're still in our transitional period to the hot season. And uh, not too long from now, the hurricane season, unfortunately. Well, uh, lovely day out there. I think it's going to be a nice weekend, too. Let's see what happens. And uh, let's talk about what uh, my thumbnail said for uh, the video here. What's better, gold or silver? This is a question I get asked frequently, uh, especially by new folks that are just getting into precious metals. Hey, what do you think I should buy? How much, you know, should I buy gold or should I buy silver? Uh, and the other question I get is, how much should I buy of each? Uh, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit here. Uh, I may not directly answer that question too, because I think it has something to do with pre uh, preferences as well. Uh, however, I will uh, talk about that in the video. We'll get into spots here, talk about zero hedge, GATA.org, and a couple really cool things. And we'll talk about the Wall Street uh, silver. Found a nice little technical now analysis on here, one of the first ones I've seen uh, that I'll just uh, discuss briefly here. Uh, and then off to some other really cool things here. Uh, then we'll talk about uh, yesterday's comments on videos and the best deals of the day. So let's get on with that right now. Uh, the first thing, let's, I've been putting the spot prices up front rather than at the end of the page because uh, chances are most of you guys are looking at the uh, spot gold and silver prices quite frequently. And it looks like we're up today. Uh, so uh, good thing. I can't forget, I forgot what the coin said uh, yesterday, but I think it was a was it a bear yesterday? I don't remember. Anyways, I'm uh, probably wrong. Uh, but today it looks like we're going to have a bull. So, uh, what does that mean? Is today's market will be up most likely? And uh, well, according to the coin, you know, that's just we just do the coin for fun. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, spot gold prices here overnight. It looks like uh, uh, New York's open right now, obviously, and uh, we have a range of a 1783 to 1796. And we're currently at that 1796 level. Now, I was kind of uh, suspicious of this. Uh, uh, I thought that we were going to see some monkey hammering uh, as of the, this week. You know, we had the Chinese holiday on, uh, uh, um, what was it, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I think today uh, it's only a half work day. Uh, so it's a half Chinese holiday. I don't know what that means for markets. Uh, and then uh, I'm not sure about tomorrow if things are opened up. However, like this move up, we're, look at this. We're touching the $1,800 mark, which has seemed to have a lot of resistance as of late. But uh, we'll break through that. I'm pretty confident. Again, the only thing that these lower... Uh, prices uh, provide you an opportunity to just buy the dips if you've got extra money in your pocket to do so. Uh, silver ranges 26.25. That's quite a range there too. 26.86 overnight. Uh, we're currently looking at 26.83. Uh, it looks like we may touch that 27. Uh, I'm not sure about this week. Are we going to get monkey hammered uh, by tomorrow? I mean, you know, it's usually monkey hammy, monkey hammy, monkey hammer Fridays or monkey hammer Mondays. It seems like um, usually not in between those periods. But uh, are we going to have a monkey? Hammer Friday. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we crack that $1,800 level or if it gets monkey hammered down to 1760, 1770. Again, gets monkey hammered. Who gives a shit? It just provides us a, a better opportunity again to do what? Buy the friggin' dips. Um, so uh, let's take a look at platinum too. Up in that mid 1200 range, um, you know, discussing these prices here, uh, it, it's unimportant. The sub $1,800 level, the sub $2,700 uh, level, and the sub $1,300 level are really. I won't say unimportant. It does provide you a good opportunity to, to, to buy the dips. But you know what? It just drives me crazy when I see people say, do you think gold and silver are going to go up? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. Um, some of it's from new people. Uh, so I, I completely expect that question. Uh, however, you know, from people that have been in gold and silver for a little while, I don't know how educated they are. And when I hear that question from them, it just makes me, oh, no. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. It was so dumb that I choked on the words. <laughs> uh, sip of coffee here, one second. Mm. Problem with doing these things semi live. Well, anyways, uh, the question I get is, oh, you think gold and silver prices will continue to go up? Well, of course they will. Look at the historic timeline from the beginning of time. Uh, gold and silver have just steadily uh, gone up. So, <clears throat> you know, if you plan on living long enough, of course that, you know, you will. And when I say living long enough, not like vampire, you know, uh, 500 years, I'm talking about a, a normal lifespan. You know, if you're, if you're under uh, 70, 
I'm going to say, I'm going to actually pick a time, you know, an age here. If you're under 70 and you plan on living, uh, you know, at least a decade more, uh, you're, you're going to do well with precious metals. In fact, you're going to look at these numbers one day and say, I remember when gold was $2,000. I remember when silver was, was uh, 30 and $40 an ounce. God, you remember those days? It's just like we look back on the days right now when silver was five dollars an ounce, and you know I remember when silver was a dollar fifty an ounce as a kid, uh, and then ten dollars an ounce, and twelve dollars an ounce forever for a while. Uh, so you know, don't worry about it. It's a good investment, good thing to put away. And if you're not worried about your, you know, making, uh, preserving your wealth or in, increasing your wealth for yourself, and this is for your kids, wow, you don't have a worry at all, folks. Trust me. By the time your kids get it, I pretty much assure you that. Uh, uh, it, it'll be substantially higher. Uh, so uh, that's really about it. Not too much to talk about on uh, gold, silver, and platinum prices here. Good update, that's for damn sure. And uh, let's kind of move into the, some of the things we we're going to talk about. First, I'll kind of move over to ZH. Uh, I didn't see too much. I'm not going to uh, kind of uh, move around here in ZH, just the typical stuff, uh, worldwide stuff. The one thing that did catch my attention, and again, we've discussed this many times, is uh, and how does this affect the price of gold, is uh, Russia is prepared to disconnect from the SWIFT payment system, uh, says the foreign ministry. So basically what this means is, uh, this is not good for the U.S. dollar. You know, the best thing for the U.S. dollar and the best thing for our economy it was when the whole world, including our enemies, loved the U.S. dollar. Hey, they could hate us. Sure, that was great. That's all well and fine. You know, but economically, uh, uh, the, the best thing that happened to us ever in our history was when the whole world went on the U.S. dollar standard. Uh, and it, it is the reason we are a wealthy country today. Uh, and, and our politicians, unfortunately, uh, our economic leaders and our politicians and our officials out there have completely screwed the pooch on this. Uh, you know, uh, what's happened is we weaponize a dollar uh, years and years and years ago. We weaponized it decades ago. Uh, we weaponized a dollar. You can't blame any one particular president. This has been happening over the course of time. Uh, and as we weaponize the dollar, uh, a lot of these countries, especially the big countries that used to love the U.S. the dollar, uh, and despite they didn't like us, uh, or they said they didn't like us, their people love the U.S. dollar. Uh, but when we weaponize the U.S. dollar, you get countries like Russia now is prepared to disconnect from the SWIFT payment system, which means they're going to use their own uh, uh, payment systems, their own dollar system or ruble system, uh, and they're going to cut us out completely. That's not good for us, folks. That's not good for the dollar. But what is that good for? It's good for gold and silver prices. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, anyway, better to be prepared and know what's happening though, at least. Uh, I'm not happy that we weaponize the dollar, even though it's going to cause the price of gold and silver to go up substantially. I'm not happy about it. Uh, no less, uh, I'm glad I know that precious metals is a good hedge against um, you know, the discontinuing use of the dollar by major countries all over, which means a flood of dollars coming back to the United States. And uh, not good things for our economy or our US dollar unless you're prepared. Um, let's move along. Again, not too much to talk about in ZH today. And I know if you've been following my uh, programs here, my uh, daily videos here, uh, that uh, you probably had this on your bookmark bars and you look at it as well as I do every day. And for you new folks that have just found this video, a uh, great site to have on your bookmarks bar. Uh, and again, why? Um, God, my old fan, you know, the old people that have been watching this for a long time are going to say, uh, uh, oh my gosh, he's going to say it again. But I like the, um, the different viewpoints that uh, uh, ZH gives you. Uh, you get to pick what you believe to be the truth, unlike the single view narrative that mainstream corporate gives us. Uh, they tell us this is the truth and this is what you need to believe, and there are no other alternatives. Uh, I hate that. Uh, let's take, take a look at GATA.org. Uh, again, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know that this has to be in your book, bookmark bar because if you don't know how the game is played and manipulated, uh, you won't be able to win at the game. Uh, more than likely, you won't be able to. You'll just be one of those sour pusses that talks about how bad gold and silver investments are. <laughs> so uh, definitely uh, uh, take a look and have this in your bookmark bar. And I'm going to look and see if there's any articles we need to talk about. Again, not too much here. Uh, I think that you probably haven't already read um, uh, Barrick CEO blasts uh, historical fund managers chasing quick cash. Basically, that just talks about uh, Barrick, which is uh, one of the large miners out there, saying how the uh, investors could care less about securing the future of the gold mining business. More or less, all they're interested in is just squeezing out every last penny they can. Uh, that's typical, anyway. Uh, other than that, again, like I said, not too much here. 
Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, yep, we kind of went over this stuff the other day. Uh, no less, I always like to kind of look at GATA.org uh, for two reasons. Uh, see if there's something new we can talk about. And to remind new folks that they need to be watching that. Uh, let's talk about uh, gold and silver. And let me move this over here first. Uh, I'll go into the uh, Wall Street uh, uh, silver forms uh, first, and I was very pleased to see this. I, you know, I looked the other day and I saw mostly uh, just people showing pictures of their bars and people showing pictures of their, uh, you know, their stacks and the things they were buying. You know, the wonderful enthusiasm that is Wall Street silver uh, forum. Uh, again, one of the things, beautiful, thing, beautiful things about Wall Street forums is uh, I believe that uh, uh, it's increasing. You know, even if you don't see a big jump up in the price of silver, I think that the enthusiasm uh, is. Uh, I don't think enthusiasm necessarily is going to jump up the price of silver or break a bunch of silver shorts anytime near soon. Uh, I think this has been in the uh, uh, act of happening for at least a few years. Uh, the silver short, the silver squeeze uh, is certainly uh, not a result of the Reddit forum here, unfortunately. I mean, I won't say unfortunately, it's the truth. The, the silver squeeze has been happening for uh, uh, quite a few number of years now. Uh, declining amount of silver on the market. As I said, back in 2019, myself and a lot of other uh, dealers that deal in precious metals, uh, retail precious metals, selling to the public, selling to investors, uh, not paper but gold and silver bars and coins and such, we had a hard time placing and finding silver orders back in 2019. This is pre pre uh, 2020 uh, pre closures we we had difficult times locating large amounts of silver not tiny amounts but large amounts and the premiums were starting to rise then this is pre reddit pre silver uh, squeeze uh, so this has been in the works for quite some time but what I love about again the Wall Street silver squeeze is that um, it, it's providing more enthusiasm uh, more younger folks getting involved more education take a look at this article for example this is why I kind of brought this up statistics on comics active months what it means for May deliveries uh, if the folks at Wall Street uh, uh, silver are reading this and comprehending this because it is a little deep if you're not really uh, knowledgeable in, in the uh, you know the intricacies of uh, uh, comics and the trading and everything like that uh, but I was very impressed with this article by the gentleman uh, who wrote this uh, Ditch the Deep State, <laughs> gotta love the name, uh, wrote this under due diligence, good job, showed the different open interests. Uh, one of the things, though, that concerns me is that, that what, what is the goal? Are we trying to break some short positions, or are we trying to break comics here? Uh, because breaking comics is really not an option, per se, because comics uh, can, uh, uh, they do have a caveat that uh, uh, if they get caught in their short position, they don't have the silver to deliver on their contracts, then uh, Comex must uh, uh, Comex allows the ability to uh, settle in cash, uh, and really, that's I don't know. Uh, but no less, I do like uh, 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 reading this. There's some really good points on here, and if the if the uh, people at uh, the Wall Street uh, Silver Forum here, Silver Squeeze, are are reading this kind of stuff and learning this, this is great. This is fantastic. This is only going to add to. Uh, uh, more and more buyers out there, more educated buyers uh, buying silver and gold. Uh, and uh, what's that going to do? It's just going to uh, increase the amount of demand and reduce the amount of supply out there. While, again, I don't think it's a quick one-week deal. We're going to double the price of silver like what happened with GameStop. I think that this, again, the increase. What I hope they don't do is I hope they don't get disappointed, um, uh, these folks that are uh, involved with this Wall Street uh, 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 silver squeeze. I hope they don't get disappointed when, they, when, when it does get monkey hammered or, or they don't see the increases that they're expecting to, uh, to see. Uh, th again, this is not like a GameStop, folks. This is a whole different thing. Uh, and I suspect if you read articles like this, you listen to videos like myself and other videos out there, and you take the time to learn this market, you will find out what it's going to really take to move this market upward. Um, let's take a look at a few things I thought were really cool. Uh, you know, silver and gold. Again, I told you earlier, people ask me, what should I buy? Should I buy gold or silver? What's the better deal? What's the better investment? How much of each should I buy? And that's a tough question for me to answer, but I'm going to go over a few things that are real simple. Uh, first, as far as the, uh, I believe the ratio of uh, in the Earth's crust, in the entire sphere of our planet, that the ratio was, I think the, uh, 
Geological ratio is what, 17 to 1, uh, if my memory serves me, or 17 and a half to 1 or something like that, which means that for every ounce of gold that exists in our planet, you know, in our crust, in our hands, wherever, in the banks, uh, for every ounce of gold, there's 17.5 ounces of silver. So, silver is basically 17.5 times more common than gold on the uh, elemental chart, elemental chart. Elemental chart, sorry, elemental. Uh, and again, I thought this was pretty cool. It's on Wiki. I'm not a big fan of Wiki, but uh, I did like the little chart here. It showed the rarest metals here, metals, okay, not elements. Um, and as you can see, uh, gold is uh, here and uh, silver is up here as far as rare, rarity goes. I guess uh, uh, these would be considered the rarest metals. And uh, let's move into uh, a visualization. And I love this. For those of you who've never seen this before, um, Demonocracy. Dot info does some great stuff on gold and silver, some visual, I like the visual comparisons they do. Uh, let's take a look at uh, first silver visualized in bullion bars. Uh, the silver chart here, uh, 5 gram bar, obviously uh, 250 gram bar and a knife and uh, a stack of $100 bills. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, again this is all kind of more visual than anything. Uh, let's take a look, there's that same $100 bill, there's 15 kilograms of silver right there. Uh, five kilograms. Oddly enough, uh, I don't know why they did it in kilograms and grams, uh, considering that uh, United States mostly deals in ounces. But to give you an idea, a uh, uh, kilo is uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, a kilo is what uh, uh, 31 ounces, 31.1 ounces, or something like that, uh, 31.2. Uh, one ton of silver equals one million dollars. So there's one ton of silver on the visualization chart. There's your hundred dollar bill and your pen. Uh, at $31 an ounce, obviously they have it priced a little bit higher, but gives you an idea about what a million dollars worth of silver looks like, which is about one ton. Uh, there's a $100 bill, uh, and we're going to do a comparison to gold. It's kind of funny, too, uh, the difference. Uh, let's take a look at what one ton of silver, 10 tons of silver, 100. Here's a comparison right here. Uh, there's a ton of gold, and uh, there's a ton of silver. Obviously, the density is much different. Uh, and as you can see, there's a thousand tons of silver and some ladies sitting on a stack of cash, which appears to be one million dollars. So there's a stack of one million dollars. <laughs> uh, again, I like the visual on here. And you, you get, I'm going to kind of talk about, uh, uh, we're going to go into the gold visual next. Uh, world Silver Reserves. Uh, let's go down here to the bottom because we can, uh, this is really what I wanted to get to. All the silver mine in history uh, is, uh, what is it, uh, one million uh, 411,475 tons. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, silver currently in existence, uh, 770,275 tons. Silver lost. Now, here's the key. This is what I want you to look at here, is, is that silver is used in the industry. Silver is lost. There's tons of silver, tons and tons and hundreds of tons of silver in landfills as well. Um, so, it's possible that uh, above ground silver supply may be just as rare as gold and that's kind of where I'm going with all this uh, all the silver mine in history but but this is where I highlighted here look this is all the silver right here that has been lost through history uh, all the gold mined in history is right here still so and the gold gold is typically not thrown away it's lost but not thrown away and that's the way it's always been but silver has been thrown away for decades we use it in cell phones uh, uh, where, where did I get that? Uh, here, here we go. Here, I'll move over to here real quick. Uh, Silver Institute, for example, mine production. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm going to go up to uh, 2019, 2020. Uh, I'm not sure what that F means. The flu. I'm not quite sure. But 2019, we'll take a look at mine production is uh, 836 million ounces. Uh, recycling, 169. That means scrap right there. Uh, net hedging supply, which is interesting, which is 15 million ounces. Uh, but here's the interesting thing is that the people don't realize. Look at the size of industrial demand for silver. 510 million ounces in 2019. Meanwhile, look at net physical investment, half of that. So a lot of investors and a lot of people think, well, all this silver is going into silver investors' hands. You know, silver investors are the ones that, that are going to create the demand for silver. But really, the truth of the matter is silver has huge demand in uh, industrial uses, uh, including your cell phone, all electronics. Uh, and what happens to these electronics and a lot of these 
uh, household things that use silver electronics, they get thrown in landfills. They get thrown away. They don't get recycled, folks. Uh, so uh, again, above ground silver supplies, as we are looking right here, are probably, this is the amount of silver lost and thrown away through history. This is what they're saying is currently in existence. I would have my doubts that there's this much in existence right now. And as a visual comparison, take a look. There's a house, there's a semi, uh, and this is all the silver currently in existence, and supposedly this is all the gold currently in existence. We're going to move over to the visualization of gold now. Uh, again, good charts. I recommend when, you, when you're done with this video that you go and take a look at these on your own. You can have some fun with it. I'm going to scoot through them a little bit quicker here. Uh, I know you want to take a look at them, though. Uh, so do take a look when you get a chance. Go back and uh, just look at Demonocracy Info and type in gold visualized in bullion bars. Uh, there's a $100 bill. There's some grams. I'm going to shoot down to here. Uh, to, that's pretty cool, though. I wonder if that's a Ford. It looks like a Ford. <laughs> no, a Chevrolet Silverado. Oh, God, I got it wrong. 2500 They even listed the brand. Uh, there's 1.66 tons of gold. Uh, value of gold on truck is 100. There's 106 million dollars worth of gold uh, uh, right there on the truck. And again, let me move down here. Uh, there's a semi uh, full. There's a oh a B1 bomber. I like that comparison. And let's go down here. World reserves. All the gold in the world. Let's take a look at this. All the gold in the world. 166.5 tons. And uh, there it is compared to a house. You can see how much rare, I mean, look at the house right here compared to all the gold in the world here. Uh, there's a Chevy Silverado 2500 <laughs> sitting on top of all that. So there's all the gold if you want to just visualize it. All the gold in the world right now, still uh, above ground, still what we own. Again, a lot of it's not been thrown away like we threw away silver and still to this day. Now take a look. There's that same house uh, right there. You compare that next there. Uh, it's not a lot, big difference there. And again, look how much of it we throw away, folks. So... Uh, this is real important, this visualization I want to show you. Uh, another thing that I noticed is 100 million ounces of silver used by the solar manufacturing industry. Uh, and this article talks about uh, silver demand for uh, 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 photoelectronic uh, stuff. You know, uh, uh, oh gosh, I just kind of had a brain fart there. Uh, solar power panels uh, was huge in 2019, but we're probably going to see a substantial decrease in this use in uh, uh, 2020 obviously and we have uh, but we'll see it pick up again next year this is just only going to increase the amount of uh, silver that people are looking to buy uh, some interesting stuff here and that's why I wanted to show this to you so really what does this have to do with my question over here uh, where to go right there what's better gold or silver well I'll give you my opinion here we've already seen silver hit fifty dollars an ounce twice in my lifetime once in the 1980s i was there when it happened i watched it happen It was crazy time and actually if you think about it fifty dollar in nineteen eighty dollars uh... is uh, like probably uh... uh two hundred three hundred dollars or more now in real terms uh... gold hit eight or nine hundred dollars an ounce then well since then silver has only hit fifty dollars an ounce one other time and that was two thousand eleven two thousand twelve and uh, since then, it hasn't hit it again. Uh, gold has hit its all-time high once in 1980, once in 2011 or 2012, uh, and again uh, last year where gold uh, sailed above 2,000. So we've seen the all-time high three times with gold and only uh, twice with silver. Um, so if you got my opinion, you want my opinion, I think silver is a little bit more crazy metal. I think you have to have a little stronger stomach to uh, uh, um, to own silver. However, um, I do believe that uh, 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 silver has a better chance of doubling than the price of gold. So uh, uh, right now, I think silver has a better chance of doubling than the price of gold. Since then, silver has only hit like $50. Uh, 2011, I think it was 2012. And uh, uh, that's it. We've only seen $50 silver twice in history and uh, uh, my history and we've seen uh, gold already hit its all-time high three times. So in my opinion at this point I think it's going to be much more likely to see a double up in silver than to see a double up in gold at this point. I could be wrong but I think silver is probably the better play has a higher percentage gain at this point uh, than gold does but I do like the stability of gold and I think it's good to mix up both metals um, 
So really, it's a matter of preference. If you like stability and you uh, uh, like to have a, a metal that's more stable and climbs up on a more stable basis and doesn't have these wild and crazy swings, maybe if you're older and elderly or if you move around from place to place and moving silver around is not you know, a viable idea for you if you have large quantities of it or no place to store it, gold may be a better option. However, I do think that silver has a better opportunity as a double up at this point right now. Uh, I don't know how that'll work out in the future than gold at this point. So that's just my opinion on which would be a better metal to own. Uh, again, simply my, my opinion. Uh, I hope that helps you out in determining your opinion on what you think is a, a better way to own gold or silver. I mean, which is better? Which should you own more of, gold or silver? Um, again, tough for me to say, but I do think silver has a better chance of a double up than gold at this point. Uh, but both are great metals to own. I don't think you regret owning either of them. And, uh, well, let's move into uh, yesterday's video, which was War Day 3 for the Silver Squeeze War. I uh, can't, again, love to go over all the comments, but just getting more than I can actually talk about, go over a few things here. I'd like to thank everyone that uh, uh, comments on here, good or bad or indifferent. I appreciate that you just took the time to even look and took your time to comment, again, no matter what your comment was. Um, now we ride. Nice to see you post again there, sir. Um, uh, cheapest silver I can find, lowest premium is about uh, 100 ounces, about 3 bucks over. Man, if you are buying 100 ounce bars at $3 over and now we ride, you are getting a fantastic deal by your local coin store. Uh, in fact, can I have his number? <laughs> I don't think I can buy him for spot plus three on the wholesale market. Now, over the counter from the public, uh, yes, I can. And that's kind of, uh, you know, the public... You know, you, public pe pe retail folks, you know that you do pay a different price than what dealers pay amongst themselves and, and pay to each other. Uh, that's just, you know, the way the industry works. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's a great price uh, now we ride. Uh, yeah, yesterday was kind of a bit of flounder, Mr. Williams. Uh, but, you know, that's just temporary, and you got to have those floundering markets, you know, when markets just go sideways for a little while. I'd be leery of any market that just continually is to go up and up and up with no big corrections or no no sitting for a little while and stabilization. I don't like that. Uh, uh, George Ramos uh, Ramos says, I joined uh, Wall Street Silver last week, pulled a 100-ounce bar from the creeps. It's nice to be in like company. I've been stacking since the first collapse in 2010, slow and steady. Uh, everything has been predicted is on track and going. Now, you did talk about Silver Eagles uh, when inflation breaks. Okay, let it get to part where you talk about American Silver Eagles. They are heavy over spot. Yes, but American Gold Eagles are tax exempt. That is not true, sir. Uh, they are sales tax exempt in some states. They are not exempt from uh, paying taxes on profits, capital gains. Uh, so I, I think you got some bad information here. Unfortunately, if you sell them for 200 ounces, if you sell them for 200 ounces, the government cannot hit you for capital gains, but all the rest of the mints are taxable. Uh, again, that's not true, sir. Um, I'm not familiar with any rules that say that you don't have to pay capital gains on uh, uh, American silver coins. However, if I am missing that, I am, whew, gosh, uh, let me know for sure. Give me a link down there, Mr. Uh, George. I really appreciate that. Hey, and thanks for watching, and uh, you're going to make a lot of money, sir. I, I, I'm pretty certain of that, and uh, uh, just keep hanging, keep stacking. Um, and as Chuck Silver says, keep stacking. Uh, Master Sensei, nice. Thanks for watching. Good to see you out there. Butter beans, uh, Z, it's uh, G Bear. It's nice to see you as well. Jay Gill, uh, likewise. And again, not too much here uh, asking questions. Just a lot of folks kind of saying hi, and I really appreciate that. Um, let me move into what the best deals, and I'm going to end this video here uh, quickly. Uh, still the best deals out there for gold and silver. The best deals that you can buy are any gold products that you can pay that are real from a reputable deal or a reputable seller that you can buy uh, uh, gold for under $100 an ounce premium and don't pay any more than $5 an ounce premium for silver right now. However, that may change. Oh, looks like our power just went out here. Uh, FPNL is here, obviously. Uh, but I'm still recording. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, anything under $50 an ounce uh, uh, or uh, $5 an ounce silver is a good buy. Uh, uh, and anything under $100 an ounce premium for gold is a good buy. Well, that's about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811 uh, if you have any questions about precious metals. And... Uh, that's really about it. If anything crazy happens today, I'll do another video. If not, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching, and uh, have a great day.